Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video we are doing a total hair transformation again. So if you have not seen my previous video, we did a color fix treatment on her hair. I will leave a link right up here if you guys want to go click on that and then watch it and then come back here. Her end goal is basically platinum blonde with a rooted, like a root smudge and balayage. So we got a long way to go. I'm unsure of what to do. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do a bleach wash or if I want to use this Joyco color eraser. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm going to mix up a little bleach wash and I'm just gonna do a test strand on each side of her head and see what a bleach wash would do. For bleach, we are using the Pravana mixed with the Joyco Lumishine 20 volume. So what I like to do is just mix up bleach like regular and then I'll just add some shampoo in this or you can add conditioner, either one is fine. Add a good amount in there. Some people prefer to use water instead of shampoo. You can also add water in here with it if you want to dilute it even more. It's totally up to you. We'll come back to you once we check it in five minutes. So we have our results. And the pink came out in 0.5 seconds and now is white. And the yellow has not budged at all. So what we're going to do is a bleach wash on this side where the pink is. And we're gonna do the Joyco color eraser on the yellow side. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the Joyco color eraser, apply that to the yellow first since it's being so stubborn. And then I'll go in and apply the bleach wash to the pink side. All right guys, so I'm just gonna walk you through a little bit of what I'm doing more in depth. So as you guys saw, she has a band throughout her whole head where the color clung on because her hair is more healthy and it's not as porous. So basically what I'm doing here is going and applying the Joyco color eraser to that band all over her head. I am not applying it to her ends, I'm leaving those out. At the very end, once I'm done applying everything to this band, I do go back and drag it down through her ends just for a short amount of time, but for now I'm focusing it on that darker band. She also has about an inch of new growth coming in. I'm trying not to apply it on there because it is pretty much bleach and it will lighten that, but at the same time, if I do accidentally get some on there, it's not a big deal. We're going back in later with the shadow root, so it's going to cover everything even if I do lift her new growth on accident. So here I'm doing the exact same thing as I did with the yellow side, except for I am using the mild bleach wash on this side. Pink is so much easier to remove than the yellow, so I wanted something that was a little bit more mild and not as harsh.
so it is a lot later. A few hours have elapsed since the last time you saw us. The bleach wash in the Joyco color eraser was on that band for like 10 minutes. And then I mixed up just the bleach in 20 volume. And then I ran that mixture through her ends and that was on there for five minutes. We rinsed it out and it turned out all white, all even. And then she wanted a haircut. So we cut off like six <laughs> inches of her hair. So now we are onto the final phase of this transformation and my energy level is low. I'm in a bad mood. Uh, my heat won't turn on, it's freezing in here and I'm really over this. It's like nine something at night. The last part of this is to give her a smudge root and balayage. Sally's basically had nothing that I wanted when we went there. They were out of like everything and the stuff that they did have, they only have like one box of things. So the colors I got aren't ideal. I wanted a level seven like gold and a level six neutral and they were out of pretty much everything. All these colors are demi-permanent, so deposit only. I wound up getting a level seven NB, which is neutral brown, a level six N, which is a level six neutral. These two are going to be the main two that I'm mixing together, equal parts. And then I decided to get some 5G which is like five gold. So that way it anchors the color a little bit. So we're gonna be mixing up equal parts of seven and six, and then a little bit of the five with 10 volume developer. The ratio for this demi-permanent color is a one to two ratio, which means one part of color and two parts of developer. So that little score on top that's yellow is how much I added of the five. In a separate bowl, I just have some conditioner I'm going to use this to blend into the color so that way there's not any spotting happening. And also this will be great to give her hair like a conditioning treatment as we're coloring. Okay, so first I'm going in with the color and I am applying it all over to her roots. So I'm starting by giving her a shadow root all over. And then once I'm done with this, I go in and start hand painting and doing like a reverse balayage. So here I'm sectioning the hair into three parts. I am taking a parting behind each ear and sectioning those off. And then the whole entire back side is going to be one section. And as I work through the whole back, I will be sectioning that in individual pieces on its own. So I'm not gonna lie, doing this on your own would be pretty much near impossible because of how difficult it is to stagger the sections and make some pieces go up higher and then to drag the color down lower. That is so hard to do on yourself. So as you're seeing with this section that I have right here, I took the bottom and I split that into two pieces. 
I took the shadow root and I just drug that down a little bit and then I'm taking conditioner on her ends and blending that into the color so that way there's like a blend and you don't have to worry about the dark color getting on her ends and creating spotting. Okay, so with this next section, you're going to see I am basically weaving it as if it's a highlight. And then what I do is I split the weaved section into two pieces. With this bottom piece right here, I am just going to apply conditioner and blend that into the shadow root. And then when I bring down the other piece that I had woven out, I am going to bring the shadow root down a little bit more into her mid shaft and then blend that in with the conditioner. So as I am foiling, I am creating pieces that go up higher with the blonde, and then I'm bringing the darker pieces down through her mid shaft, so that way there's some type of variation and it looks like she has highlights. But because we are wanting this to look more like a balayage and a shadow root versus highlights and lowlights, I am not bringing the dark color all the way through the ends of her hair. The furthest down I am bringing the dark color is like through the middle of her hair, if I was bringing that dark color all the way through her ends, it would look more like a highlight low light situation with a shadow root versus like all the ends being platinum blonde. So I'm going to shut up now and let you guys enjoy this and let you guys watch what I'm doing closely and I'm sure you guys will catch on and see like the pattern I'm doing. My reflection, thinking about what you mentioned. It was supposed to be the one to take every last pain away. Nothing on our loving, maybe time told us that we were different. Did it break you down? Used to be. 
I just want to explain a little bit what I'm doing on the sides of her head because I think this is one of the most important parts. I am doing a diagonal back. So basically, as you can see, the hair is parted at a diagonal. It is not parted horizontally straight across. If you were to take horizontal sections and you were going to weave or apply color or shadow root, you're going to get a very distinct line and things are going to be a little bit more choppy and you're not going to get as great of a blend if you're taking the hair at a diagonal section whether that is diagonal back or diagonal forward you're going to get way more of a blend when that hair falls downwards it's going to blend together a lot better than if you were to do horizontal sections i hope that makes sense to you guys i think i might do a video in the future just breaking it down a little bit better and explaining it and showing you step by step what that means so you get a better understanding of it the other thing I wanted to say is color placement is a big deal when it comes to the sides of the head. So as you can see, I'm applying the darker base color further down the hair shaft when it comes to like right next to the ear into the back of the head. And as I am applying the color closer to her face, I am raising it up more so that way she has lighter pieces framing her face. Naturally, most people are lighter on their face. That's where you get sun kissed the most. So it looks better in my opinion to leave around the face a little bit lighter and more of like a sun kissed feel. All right guys, I got everything applied. I did so many different things to make sure we get like a very nice seamless blend. We're gonna leave this on for 20 to 30 minutes and then we're going to wash her hair tone i will be back on a different day once her hair has air dried because i'm not going to blow dry it tonight and show you it's really late and we've been doing this for hours and we want to air dry her hair we don't want to put any more heat on it or blow dry it we'll see you guys on a different day goodbye all right so we're back we actually wound up not toning her hair in the bathtub because it was already light enough and the toner i got was actually permanent and I did not want to use that on her hair. And here it is. I straightened it for you guys because I feel like when it's curly, it kind of masks things. But that's why I straightened it. And as for my hair, we're not going to talk about it, all right? Um, I removed the color. I'm getting ready to dye it rainbow again. I use the baking soda method. I have several videos doing it. I'll link one up there for you guys if you want to know what I did to get the color out of my hair. So everything turned out really well. As you guys saw, we cut off a lot of her hair and it's a lot healthier now. It's still damaged, obviously, when you go from one drastic color to the other, but it turned out really, really pretty, and she's not gonna be dyeing her hair for a while, so you won't be seeing her on my channel for a while. I'm so sorry, it's her <laughs> fault, not mine. She wants to be normal, which is fine. You know, it's fine, but you're just not gonna see her for a while. That is all for today's video, guys. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much, and until next time, guys, stay weird. Music